so in here is where we get all our seedlings started. So we've got lettuces and onions and uh, Brussels sprouts and everything in here. At the Big Garden, a nonprofit in North Omaha, they grow healthy food, healthy kids, and healthy communities. Everything that we grow here in the greenhouse is either given to one of the gardens or goes out into the plant sale, or we plant it here, and everything that's grown here is donated to, usually Together Inc., um, which is the largest food pantry in the state. The nonprofit builds gardens in different parts of town. We'll build between 120 and 150 raised bed gardens this year. We've already, we delivered 25 to a church on Saturday. This is one of our longest running community gardens. That and all the gardens that we, um, we partner with, they either donate a portion of their produce or if it's at a child care center that's with low income kids, they just send it home with the kids at the end of the day. We get it all mixed up. At each community garden, they teach children and their families how to grow, cook, and preserve their own food. Their goal is to tackle food insecurity in Omaha and all of the systemic challenges that come with that. Last year, we ended up growing about 15,000 pounds of food at the different locations around town that we've partnered with, and all of that was donated over the year. Before COVID, statistics showed one in five kids went hungry in the U.S., if the kids were black or Latino, one in three kids experienced food insecurity. They teach families they can break that cycle. Can I try some? You can take some. Okay, good. If we can empower kids to recognize that they can grow some of their own food, that they can live healthier lives because of that, that's going to hopefully get at some of those foundational issues. The Big Garden is a nonprofit organization. The nonprofit has also grown. They have a network of more than 150 gardens in the Omaha metro and semi-rural communities throughout Nebraska, Iowa, and Kansas. So this is a native prairie plant. They also recently partnered with the Latino Center of the Midlands to have interns lead their Siembra Raices program to provide healthy food access to Latinos in South Omaha. This is a working farm. Yeah, so. <laughs> Executive Director Nathan Morgan says their program adds value by offering a taste of home for immigrants. Oftentimes the clients at food pantries are immigrants or refugees or folks that um, they have, may miss the produce that they grew up with that isn't necessarily available through the, through the food bank. So what we do is all through the winter, we ran our greenhouses all winter, we were growing cilantro, we were growing bok choy and all sorts of other Asian greens. That way when there's a produce box that comes from the food bank, goes to together, we can layer on top of that some fresh produce that's culturally appropriate for the folks that we're working with. The Big Garden also takes their outdoor gardening inside the classroom. In normal years, we would teach over a thousand kids a week during the summer, um, an eight week course on uh, how to plant, how to maintain, how to harvest, and then how to cook with fresh produce. Okay. Um, all of that transferred into online last year because of COVID. How you girls doing? Good. We're doing good. Online, they share videos on pumpkins, seed saving and herbs, plus dozens of other gardening topics. They also provide recipes to make it a rich experience. A rich experience that is bringing a nutritional value and helping families move forward. We've learned that and all the, the professional literature shows that if kids who are engaged in gardening programs, they've tracked them long term and these kids are more likely to eat fresh produce and they have fewer of the associated health problems that and kids in poverty have when they get older. Our evaluations of our own programming show the same thing, that kids that participate in our programming are reporting they're eating more fresh produce or eating it more often um, and just, you know, knowing where their food comes. They're invested in growing this and they're like, by God, I'm going to eat it then.